I like Trez on this block right here. He likes to go right for that little. There you go. <laughs> I, I, I'm foul. telling you. You run it, running a play that hasn't been run all game, or even if it is a play that you've been running. Fortunate play right there. Nice finish right there by Montrez. Hawks are seven to twelve in this second quarter. Clippers just one for eight. Quick move for Trez at the cap. Oh, a seismic slam, and he shakes the Southland. And I like how he didn't he didn't waste any time right there. Trey Young dangerous in moments like this. Gets to the cup. Blocked by Magruder. Montrez behind the defense. Makes the grab. Oh, and the spring loaded forward dangles on the rim. Now Trey going to work. Splits the defenders into the paint. And Montrez Harrell rejects it. To Turner. Taken away by Mo Hartless. Ahead to Montrez. To the rim on the right hand. Oh my. What a soft touch from Montrez Harrell. Coming into tonight, 25% from the field in the first 10 or so games for Atlanta. Well, I think he's better than his percentage tells us right now, but you know, half of that battle, Brian. Oh, Trey went up for that long three and had no idea Paul George was behind him. Oh. Off the glass for the Harrell dunk. Very unselfish play there. No field goals over five minutes. Montrez Harrell, that's good. Well, he's a tough, I had a chance to talk to Montrez before the game. <laughs> but I'll tell you one thing, Nick, he, he plays is stronger. Like -footer. He's stronger than New Rope. <laughs> yes, he is. And plays much bigger than he is. And there he is, right in front of the rim. Harrell with the stick back. J. Michael Green is in. Harrell going up against Alex Lynn, and that oh, one drops oh, in. You gotta be kidding me. Eight seconds, seven. Jerome Robinson bounces to Harrell, and he stuffs it. Walton inside. Harrell stuffs another one. Jaron's man. Harrell moving in on Teague. Boy, Jeff is in the wrong place at the wrong time. And, and, and Harrell flexing his muscles down there. The foul charge to Cam Reddish. Harrell goes up and in. And the beat goes on 18 for Montrez Harrell and the points in the paint. Brilliant career at Florida State. Uh oh. Here he comes. Pucks it home. He is something. He got 21. Midway through, inauspicious third quarter for the Clippers. What a pass inside by Lou. What a finish by Montrez. Hunter to the lane, to the basket, the rejection. Uh, but Vince Carter, give him credit. Good battle. DeAndre ran into a second defender and coughed Harrell. it up. He ran into Harold to come over, came over nicely for the help. 72 64. Montrez Harold doubled, stops. They leave him and he lays it in. Approaching the eight minute mark. Montrez Harold keeps the dribble alive. No challenge from Alex Land. Just bowls over Brandon Goodwin and lays it home. Bores in, lays it in. That's that's when he's at his best. The Hawks' defense is really extended out, and really guys are playing hard. They're switching. They're covering for each other. Goodwin rejected that time by Harold. Beverly to the basket, reverse won't go, but Harrell right there to throw it down. And Walker, the smallest player on the floor, clears it away. Accelerates on the drive, undaunted by the defense, misses, and the rebound kept up and in by Tice. Under a little more duress. Jalen Brown misses, gets it back again, goes up, it's stripped. Past the midway point here in the fourth, Paul George, nice feed, Harrell! Throws it down, and it's a five-point game. Rebound, Beverly, quick outlet to George. George on the drive. Inside, Harrell. Banks it home. It's a two-point game. This is where they like the ball, right here with Montrez Harrell. As, as I said, he's going to put his head down and attack you, and Williams, you're going to have to move your feet. 
bet he's going to drive. Oh, Final he seconds. Here's Harold <laughs> with that drive and scores. So he has eight points. In fact, the Celtics overall 7 of 15 from beyond the three-point line. Here's Harrell with a, ooh, a runner. Knew every dead spot on the floor. Yeah. We, Red had a great, Red Arback did a great, nice throw-ahead pass to Harrell. Good catch and good finish. Boy, Lou Williams made a nice pass from that backcourt. Michael Green juggles, recovers, attacks to the cop with the left hand. Oh, oh what a finish by Montrez Harrell. He leaves it in. Clippers are down by one. Five and a half remaining in the third. Here's Tatum going one on two. Blocked by Harrell and carries out of bounds. It'll be Boston ball. Alma mater. Here's Tatum strip. Nice hands by Harold. He stepped on the line, but beautiful hands by Harold there. Tice is wide open. Blocked by Harold. Good luck from Kemba Walker. And Shabbat in the backcourt. Here's Harold going right at Williams, taking advantage of his of the height and power. Some Again. unusual other calls made. There's Harold. Oh, he puts it down. Five of their six shots that have gone down are threes as well. Montrez isoed against Biombo, who's got the reach but cannot stop. Charlotte means business here tonight in L.A. Good feed from Kawhi and a finger roll finish for Montrez Harrell. There's another guy you can't oh, stop, can Patrick Beverly. Montrez, look out, scoops to the hoop with a right hand, counted on a foul. Montrez accelerates down the lane. Gets his own rebound and puts it back in. The motor, the motor of this guy. At the beginning, you're just joining us. They live by 14 in the first half. Pocket pass into Trez to the rim with the right hand. I mean, we've seen 32 flavors from Trez already in this young season. Just have a power play if they hurry. A soft touch from Montrez Harrell, and it, it never ceases to amaze me. The Yes, the first force to turn over the 20th against the Hornets. Speaking of the devil, and he shall appear, misses, gets his own rebound, and a ferocious two-handed follow. Probably get 40-something on a few nights again if somebody would sign him. It's, 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 it's remarkable. Montrez Harrell now with 19. Montrez Harrell's a different animal now. He would go to the basket and dunk. Inside, he spins, steps through, and yeah. scores. And he's a much better finisher around the basket than Zubak is. It's the only way he's going to get confidence in shooting that mid-range jump shot. Harrell, a drive, and a shot up and good. It counts, and a foul. Bounce down to Harrell. Into the lane, got a shot up and good. That time he was decisive with his move. Was led by nine moments ago. Trez down the lane, crossing the line of scrimmage, counted on a foul. Oh. Walton able to turn the corner back to Harrell. He goes up and scores again. He leaves it for Harrell. Here comes Harrell with Thaddeus on it. Spins by him, got a shot oh, up and put again. Thaddeus, that one will be short. Robinson ahead to Harrell. He catches, goes up, oh, scores, man. and he's fouled. Oh my goodness. I mean, they really do. They got some guys that can really score. They got some bigs that can do a lot of different things. Marketing grabs it, lays it in. I.E. Lloyd Marketing. Kicked out of the wing. Walton way off. Patterson ran it down. A long rebound. Harrell driving. Layup oh. good. Walton. Bounce down. Harrell got it up. Good. Oh, and a foul. Okay, well, now. I'll tell you what, he's been like a bull in a china shot. He's flying back out. Six to shoot. Zach attacks the basket, and that's blocked and out of bounds. With seven. Gun at the top, circling. Gun trying to explode along the baseline. Block. Picked back up by Grinchell, who dunked it home. Michael's bringing the Montrez run out to set a screen with like a pair of elevator doors. Here's Montrez working inside and leaves it in. 
designed plays for Landry Shaman to get some open shots. There's a design play from Montrez. Harrell coming out of the timeout, and he flushes it in. Trez has done a great job of blocking shots, playing defense, being in the right position, using stunts, deflections to help his team. And now the scoring is starting to kick in for Montrez here. Kind of day off, which started to get that recovery standpoint for the team. Ooh. Montrez hanging around as the Clippers lead a 117 to 87. Montrez now with it. But the knowledge of the game from Jerry West, not only to evaluate talent, to understand who would be a starter as leader, tricks, attacks the basket, that's an underrated quality. Looking for the block. Harrell now plows into Thompson, puts it up, puts it in, and gets fouled. Thompson. Back on Harold, closed it up, missed the shot, loose ball grabbed by George, who has re entered. George finds Harold, who runs the floor, he puts it up and in. The problem is in the paint area, and that's where we should be much stronger now. Carl into the bucket, there's a rebound by Drummond, missed the first shot, then he gets fouled. A long rebound comes to Harold, who pokes it in the air, then bats it over at George. George finds Green. Oh my, Harold with the follow. Wow. Harrell stops, floats over Drummond, and connects to give the Clippers a 71-44 lead. Harrell in on Love, gets bumped, puts it up, puts it in, and Montrez Harrell has a chance for the three-point play. Shamich three of seven, George five of eight, and Williams picks up a steal. Ahead to Shamich, here goes Harrell, who runs the floor once again. Thompson and Drummond were working on those threes <laughs> just yesterday in practice. Magruder, good pass inside to Harrell. Sexton has 11 points. Porter has 11 off the Cavalier bench. We get our first look at Terrence Mann, the rookie out of Florida State, who misses the shot. It is not our first look at that man, Montrez Harrell. Took a shot to the face. He's back up and joining in the play, which is Harrell inside. Oh, and he missed, but followed in his own miss. 14 of them made, one of two on that trip. Well, that's the important thing. I was going to try a little matchup zone. Williams robbing it, Harrell finishing it. Yeah, I think he was shocked that he was so open on that attempt that time. To Lou Williams, probing, looking, Harrell, big slam. Not been a good night in the paint for Dallas. No, it has not. They're 9 for 21 on shot attempts in the paint. Come on, man! And the Clippers come back and score at the other end of the floor to open the lead back to 20 points. This is the front end of a back-to-back -back for the Clippers. They play in Memphis tomorrow. The subs have been made. And one of those subs, Robinson, throws a pass up ahead. His bench buddy, Montrez Harrell, is who Williams goes to. Harrell trying to overpower Tim Hardaway Jr. And he does score despite Hardaway's absolute best efforts to dig in and keep him out of it. The Lakers as the road team at Staples Center a week from tonight. I'd like to see the great Austin band, the Black Pumas, win a Grammy. You would like to see I, I know you're a fan. But again, Magruder beats Cleveland Moran to the ball. Williams a drive. I, Scoop no good. I, Harrell tip in. Oh! Second tip in is good. Is that five shots, four shots? Well, they're really good. help things for the Clippers is their big edge at second chance points and their edge at free throws. And that's how they offset their 36% shooting to have a lead. Big block by Porzingis. Oh, once again, Harrell out battles everyone inside and slams it home. Much to still be determined in this matchup between the 30 win Clippers and the 27 win Mavericks. Oh, what a play. Telling you. Right by everybody, and he scores it. Uh, and once again, you see the little reach by Plumley, and when he does, you're now off balance. You've lost your center of gravity. High pass, Harold. Oh! Dunks it in. Long range, no. Harold right there for the rebound. Montrez blowing it up and in. Yeah, and that's and that's what Biggs have struggled with. Bill Hamsley talked a lot about it. Yeah. Tory Craig played a splendid first 11 minutes as Harrell is inside and he dumps it in. Now Harrell is going to try to back down. Plumley. And the basket counts foul. Up and under. A number of years now. 
Eight seconds left. Barton in the lane. Put it up. Harris with the block. 2.4 remaining. See if they can get a bucket here. And they're going to bring it into play. And that's the end of the third quarter. Now Lou Williams. Harold throws it up and in. Bangs into Jokic. Got a three ball on the way. That's no good. Another offensive rebound. Taking the long shots. And Harold rolls one and, up. And all the Nuggets are doing, a little bit like the Cleveland, shot goes up, they run to the paint, and the ball goes right over their head. Looking a little shaky here as Harold's inside and he scores it. And okay. the Nuggets have to take time out. Trying to get the double on Kawhi. Inside Harold. Well, Jimmy Grant's got to be better than that. A great look. He chases down the loose ball and the Clippers reshuffle the deck. Lou takes the three. Gives to Trez. Down the lane. Colliding with Plumlin and leaves it in. Whether you start them or not, the same energy, the same enthusiasm, and the same type of impact. Porter's three brings Denver within six. How about that spin move? You come back in and exert, exert, exert the wheel back into this game. Trez challenges Plumley and lays it in. Plumley did well. Montrez did better. Morris, nice little hesitation shot block. Harrell rejects it. Williams saves it, but he saves it right to Grant for the dunk. Not exactly the best place to throw the ball. And he's just, he's overpowering. He's as dominant in the paint scoring. A little bit more resistance. Spark, shot blocked. Harrell, another rejection. Craig couldn't hold on. Everybody diving on it. We've got Portland, New Orleans, San Antonio all chasing right behind as Montrez Harrell gets inside. Lou Williams, another floater. Montrez Harrell right there to tip it in. Montrez Harrell gets in, goes right at Plumley. He is so tough. Plumlee tries to go back, blocked by Harold. They kick it out, and Barton able to knock the three to quiet the crowd momentarily, but that was some rejection. Rose. Oh, showing signs from 2011, but a chase down blocked by Montrez. Has seven when he is off. He converts to three-point play. Pistons match their largest lead of five. Trez shakes free, jams at home, coming on a foul. Played well, they just as a team. I'm having Blake Griffin's tough. Montrez inside the floater is good. There is a handful of injuries early in games. You just don't. You don't want to have to say, all right, we have to work really hard in the fourth quarter to go get a win. Nice two-man game by Sweet Lewis. Just the second giveaway by the Pistons. Clippers down nine. Trez deep into the paint, the feathery floater, counted at a foul and send Montrez to the line. 13 of their last 17 from the field. Paul George, Yo-Yo is in and out of the paint. Oh, a ferocious follow by Montrez. Harrell counted on the foul third time here in the half. Galloway for three. Trez drives in on Brown. Giant steps down the lane with a kiss and a... He doesn't care that you're 6'11". And, you know, he's given up five, six inches, Lil Williams. He's going to figure out a way to score on you using his body, protecting the basketball. Green with a rebound, Clippers 108-79 over the Pistons. Trez, look out to the rim, lays it home. Out in front. Trez wants to go ISO on Maker, gets to the rim. Boy, we always wonder, would length bother Montrez? Not there, and Montrez continues. Pistons about to the Clippers 22 to 10 here in the fourth. Maker delivers the ball to Galloway for three. Gets his own rebound. And the floater is good. A 24 to 10 quarter in favor of the Pistons. Williams came in the other night. They were down by 11. They quickly 
Drag that game by the throat. Hill across the lane with an acrobatic play. Right on cue, right? To get all the way to the basket. Williams oh, a fake and a beautiful feed to Harrell. They were of one mind on the floor. Bench was huge in that win over the Lakers on Tuesday. Clippers went 60 to 19 against the LA Laker bench. Inside, a pass, and Harrell there to finish. Harrell is there for the rebound. Williams, Harrell for hey! easy. Yeah, wow. It is. 21 points on 17 shots in 28 minutes. Harrell. Hey! Where's the defense? On Trez Harrell. Well, number one. Here comes. Beverly and it goes into Harrell finding on Green. Got it. Shifting gears. Nice try by Evans, but he can't get it to drop. Williams. Harrell floating, finding. Nice little shot After power inside. forward in transition. Yeah, with a nice touch. Lord Poole was firing on that three. Willie kept it alive, but right to Lou Williams. Double team Haskell. It's always great when you got someone out there that can draw a double team is Montrez Harrell. You can tell the tempo and the intensity is picking up right here for the quick. Here you go, Montrez with a finish inside. Timeout. Golden State. Plays that won't show up when you look at a stat sheet. I mean, he's doing a good job out there. Quick move by Trez, displays the finesse, and the Clippers cut the lead to one. Patrick Beverly with rebound number six. He has eight points and six assists as well. Gives to Trez. Bouncing it to defenders. Counted on a foul. Explosion by Trez. Lay it up, lay it in. Counted on a foul. Big time all night. He's been big time all night. Blocked from behind by Montrez. 14 bench points for Golden State. The roll to the rim. Harrell pauses. And then on the second chance opportunity, Montrez Harrell. Absolutely. And in this day and age, his size at the center spot's not a problem. Harrell. Oh, he hits a three. He was 0 for 17 from downtown. And the streak is over. And the rebound controlled by Harrell. Harrell turns the corner. Look out, Montrez Harrell with the slammer. Harrell, isolation. Bumping bodies with Bender. Oh, that's pretty. That's great footwork as his career goes on. The bullet feed inside. Harrell circles, shows the ball. A little sauce from Montrez Harrell. Under two minutes to go, third quarter. Jackson the bounce, perfection. Montrez Harrell on a rack attack. Houston is up 36 to 22. It led 31-15 after one. Kawhi Leonard started to get going though. He's got 12 points as Austin Rivers took a shot to the groin area. Steve Ballmer is into this game. And we can hear him, he's right next to us. So he, 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 not only is he fun to watch, he's fun to listen to. Harrell with the throwdown. Harden penetrating with five to shoot, rejected by Harkless. Rivers cleans it up, able to get rid of it, and bury a three as the buzzer sounds. Rockets have the last number 30 in the NBA in scoring from the bench. Yeah, but you, you feel like that's going to change. It's Montrez Harrell, who is now a guy you can throw it into the low post. Montrez Harrell goes right at Chandler and gets the nice bounce. Led the nation in scoring last year at Campbell. Harrell gets inside. A little ferocity there, huh? Well, almost another turnover. George this time misses. And Harrell tips it in with the fingertips. Austin Rivers ran right into George. Harrell blocked that shot. And here comes Lou Williams and the Clippers. This is when the Clippers made their move in the second quarter. Can they do it again in the third? Cephalosha pretends to shoot the three. Drive to the rim. Minute the peak of his lead by Montrez Hill. Lou. Yes, sir. 
Nice feed inside, but Harrell misses. Follow right there. That's a beautiful bullet pass from Lou Williams. And the second effort from Montrez Harrell. Westbrook rattles that one home. Paul George right now on the bench. Nice feed inside, Montrez Harrell. And then Clippers up by four. Beverly's back in with his five fouls. Williams scoots away from Harden. Inside pass, Montrez Harrell. These two have such a great chemistry. 32 points and 12 assists for Harden. Harrell gets inside and flips it up and in. 14-1 here at home. They've won their last 10 straight at Staples. Off the turnover. This is Harrell splitting through and scores. Williams on the pick and roll for Harold. The propeller is there. Harold with a series of facts and a nice soft touch. That's a one on one game. Now we've seen two pick and rolls by Lou Williams and Harold. Now shooting 57% for the night. And Montres Harold, when he gets the ball near that restricted circle, it's almost automatic. In the first half, as he did the other night. Harden is one of five. Oh, Harold pulls it away. Harris Harold going up. He's blocked Harold again. He hung in on a third effort. George with that hesitation dribble. Harold with the hook. Oh, he's showing the entire repertoire here in the first half. That Westbrook is making. I mean, it's like a dunk contest. He's just laying it up nice. Harold backs it on Capella. Westbrook got the two for the technicals and then the ruling it was a three point on that foul by one beautiful spin by Harold goes right at Capella shot clock to six here's George driving on Rivers and Harold puts it down Shannon played on a switch by Chandler shot clock at seven nice pass for Harold Shannon off the dribble Capella set the pick. Hart, but he moves on Leonard. Here's Hart blocked. He doesn't have to bring the ball up full court. Now he can just do his thing, which is the score. And pass as he gets it to Harrell, who also just checked in as we're seeing the Clipper bench make its appearance. Pretty pass inside, and Harrell lays it home. Of the Rockets say different that they can score on the run. Lamar is blocked from behind by Harold. Harold gets inside and scores. <laughs> we're going. We're going to work defensively. Your little timeout. Here's Harold with the stuff. Oh, that's that pick and roll play. The first time we've seen the pick and roll. Great part about the NBA is that if you're an opposing team watching this thinking that the Rockets are sweet, <laughs> you're going to have your hands full the next game. Oklahoma City also winning handily by 15, led by as many as uh, 21. 40% from three-point range. He shot better than 40% a year ago. Harrell spins and got it. Montrez Harrell averaging 19 per game in his fifth year out of Louisville. Houston was a part of the Chris Paul trade. And he has paid massive dividends for Doc Rivers and the Clippers. Flying to the rim and it's blocked. Harrell blocked it on Lamb. 16 points and hit three threes on Saturday night in New York. Harrell, baseline. Turner may have gotten a piece of that, but Harrell tips it in. It's a two-man game that Eddie Gill and Jeremiah Johnson talked about in the pregame. Has oh. Harrell right to the rim. He did this yesterday, Chris, and I had not seen him. I uh, can't leave that thing, everything else is a reaction. And yeah, Harrell right he, there. Because he's that good. Pace has got a chance to get the last shot. He's under, Beverly's under the side. Well, you know, this guy here makes it a problem. And Montrez Harrell has 10 off the Clipper bench. Yeah. George glides in for his seventh rebound. He's got the 34 in 26 minutes as Harold to the basket counted. Having a bad night for three point range, six of 23. It goes down low to Harold. He puts it in. He's being guarded by Holiday. And 
Harrell, when he's hitting that, I mean, you can't stop. He's been, Chris, I'm telling you, he's a different player. Signed a contract in the offseason to remain a pacer. Started twice early. And Harold just goes to the basket. Beverly inside and Harold. And it's all created by Patrick Beverly. If you had Paul George and Danny Granger together, you really you, here's McDermott again. It's blocked by Harold. And not out of bounds. Beverly got it when. Brogdon guarding Paul George now. Montrez Harrell catches and scores. Oh, he is being pulled so hard. And again, we saw Jeremy Lamb play through a knee injury, and that's Harrell dunking at home. He has 26. He finished third in the six-man voting a season ago. Nice pace by Williams inside. Harrell will finish it off. Home last year, 26 and 15. Harrell was screen, Leonard to Harrell. Lack of communication defensively by the Lakers. Leonard taking a breather, 20 points in 15 minutes. Inside, more rejection, more defense. Harrell flying, sham it the other way. Along with Charles, when he catches the ball that low, he puts the, the defense at a disadvantage. Howard is in for McGee and to Harrell. Howard was turned around. And Harold took advantage of it. Oh man, good steal there by Sweet, Sweet Lou. Harold. A lot of pesky defense. Williams got the screen, works on Davis, finds Harold inside, and Green knocked it away. And then Harold digs it out and puts it in. And there's that one two combination off the bench. Dudley is defending Harold. Just plowed right over him. Count it. That's a two. And Harold gets it to go. And 13 off the bench for him. Another rebound for Beverly. He's got nine of them. Inside Harold. And look at Pat Beverly celebrate at the other end. When somebody of the caliber of Davis comes in, he says it's been a bit of an adjustment. But an adjustment made harder because he hasn't been healthy. As Harold banks that one in. That's not going to happen. Rondo, meanwhile, he's shooting 41% from three this year. Nice feet inside. Lou Williams and Montrez Harrell have a special connection out on the floor. I, I really believe that if you are elite leader in this league, you're an assistant coach on the staff. And I know you'll get an I agree amen with on that. that. That's an amen. <laughs> Montrez Harrell. George. Oh. Bumped into green. Harold down low in the quick bucket. Montrez Harold now with eight points. Clippers outscored the Lakers 27-17 in the fourth quarter. Harold gets free as Lou Williams finds him. And the Latin say you were wrong. I'm not I, I, see, say I that. see your cheeks, man. I see you, I see you get ready to smile. Shot <laughs> blocked. Harold. Howard right there on the follow and the foul. But getting into the bonus in any period, but particularly the fourth. It is brutal when you're there early. Arrow floats it up and knocks it down, and the game is tied again. Russo, Caldwell, Polk, Howard, and Kuzma. Four bench players out there now for the Lakers with James. Shot clock at seven. George, nice feed inside. Montrez, Harrell. It had a ball reversal. It had a dribble handoff. A little bit more action to have to guard. Paul George. Harrell on the tip in, and it's tied yet again. Laker fans, as Reggie Jackson misses, Harrell, another offensive rebound, gathers, goes up, and banks it home. Rondo, way off. Dwight Howard, the rebound, slapped out of his hands. Reggie Jackson comes up with a loose ball, goes inside, reverse, blocked by James. Leonard whips a pass, George inside, Montrez Harrell, great ball movement. That was a big... A really good, well executed play by Lou. the Lakers. Was that, you think that was a pass from Lou Williams there? Reggie Jackson the rebound. George throws it ahead. Nice feed into Harrell for the slam. Boy, a perfect pass from Paul George. James fakes the three drives on Leonard. Layup. No good. The follow, Kyle Kuzma. On Leonard, 
Didn't go for the fake. Jermichael Green gets inside. Beautiful feed, and Montrez Harrell once again finishes. It should be called a, a, a different type of assist because it certainly is. Harrell and the foul. Rondo tried to grab him, put his arms around him. And the strength of Montrez Harrell. For this Grizzlies team. Still trying to get his legs back. He sat out nine games with the ankle sprain. Montrez Harrell, one of the best bench scorers in the league, goes right to the rack and draws a foul on Brandon Clark. Three-point opportunity. So in Jermichael Green and Montrez Harrell, you have those two guys combined are averaging 14 rebounds a game. And Harrell getting all the way underneath. Harrell with eight to shoot. Williams drives, finds Harrell, and there's that chemistry that's starting to come together. He's giving his team what they need, though, the five assists. Some nights it's your game to score, some nights it's your game to facilitate. Harrell and a foul. George, who missed the first 11 games of the season, starting to settle in. Magruder show and go off glass, and Harrell acrobatically with the follow and a timeout taken by the Grizzlies. Grayson Allen with a pump fake and a step through. Valanciunas comes up with a loose ball, misses, and then blocked and a foul on Harrell. And then a second one later in the period. Lou Williams drives, wraps it around, Harrell lays it in. I mean, it, like, he just knows where he is, and Harrell foul as well, they get none. There's a lot of contact on that initial layup there by Morant. Harrell turns the corner and lays it in. Been a total team effort for the Grizzlies. Everyone that has stepped on the floor has contributed. Harrell in traffic forces it up and in. At around either towards the three minute mark, another turn over here. And a lob for Harrell. The Grizzlies will take one of their three remaining timeouts. Lou on the move. Trez taps it up and in. Hot damn! The Clippers lead by two. Standing in that painted area, a rare miss for him. Memphis is led by as many as 18. Trez all the way down the lane. Ballerino's feet swiveling to the rack and lays it in. Second is missed. Michael Green with the rebound. Former Grizzly. Oh, the runner for Montrez that was so good for him early on in the season. He gets that one to fall. The most the Clippers have given up in any quarter this year. Trez challenges Valachunas. Back-to-back buckets for Montrez. Clippers are down by 13. Six times this year, the Clippers have overcome a double-digit deficit. Here's Montrez. Ooh. Takes out a little bitty knife after the big old hunk of wood and starts whittling away. Montrez, by the way, 4-4. Four four. And within himself, from the outset of this game. Lou Williams frees himself. Harrell, offensive rebound and the stick back. And McGruder clears it. Wraparound pass from Lou. Trez surrounded by defenders, breaks free, counted on a foul. Quick move by Trez. Of course, to the bucket, lays it in 18. Make it 19 for Montrez. Dead ball turnovers, and there's live ball turnovers. And you say, what does that mean? A dead ball, it goes out of bounds. You have a chance to set your defense up. Everybody get back. And Shamit clears it for the Clippers. Trez follows it in with two. Montrez Harrell with 24 run through the tape as best they can. Sure, sure. Well, it's easy to keep a 20-point lead at 15, 18, whatever point lead. It's easy to keep that if you can get any shot you want. Nice play made right there by John Moran in that pick and roll. Lou Perez jams it in the two. Jang misses Morris. Lobs it ahead to Montrez. It was just checked in and lays it in. Found a bit of a groove here from Memphis. Has played maybe a handful of games. Trez into the plate. The floater is good. And the beat goes on for the Clippers. There's it's, it's no lag back. And so it's important that now when you have a healthy uh, lineup, you can get buckets at will. Stepping back, stepping back. He said, okay, that's fine. I'll go to my floater. Anderson rebuked at the cup by Montrez. 
Lou Williams out rivals Anderson, lobs it to Trez, takes it to the house, oh, and he shakes the Southland, flushing it in with two. You cannot replace what Patrick Beverly does for this Clippers squad. If they want to get to where they want to go, Pat Beverly is going to have many, many pages in that index. Here is a feed inside to Montrez. Trez needs to take two more steps out to guard you, to defend you. Well, I agree with you there, Corey. I mean, his shot isn't broken, but that's his next, that's his yes. level. That's his next level. And the crowd was electric. Now, it may or may not have had something to do with Kawhi Leonard returning to Canada as Montrez returns the cup and lays it in counted in a foul. Graduated back in 2016. Montrez tries to start the fourth quarter on the right foot, and he does. Montrez with 20 points off the bench tonight. A little bit. Tyus Jones. Oh, not this time. And Montrez Harrell lets the crowd know. Shamit bounces to Trez, dodging defenders and leaves it in Montrez Harrell with 22. Nice pass right yes. there by Landry Shamit. Harrell penetrates, got it off the window and a foul. So strong. Harrell averaging 19 points per game. Derek Jones with the block, and then Waiters turns it over. Harrell spinning away from Olenek. Drives and finishes. How about the skill right there? That's the way the NBA is played right now. Guys get all the way to the basket and see a guy wide open for three. They'd rather take that three. Shamit, nice dish, and Harrell stuffs it. That was Duncan Robinson missing the three. Harrell drives, and the officials thought that Olenek flopped, so no call. Kawhi Leonard, 2 for 9, 0 for 2 from three-point land. No Paul George tonight, missing his eighth straight game. Nice pass that time by Leonard to Harrell. He's screaming for a foul. Nice pass by Lou Williams, and Harrell with the stuff. And I'm telling you, those two guys in the pick and roll are like poetry in motion. Beating the Lakers twice this year. Waiters to the bucket, rejected by Harrell. Roof would have come off this place. A lot of <laughs> fans behind us have been shouting for Dion to shoot every time he touches it. Nice view by Harrell. Good pass again by Leonard. You made note at the top of the telecast about perhaps the acquisition of the Godala. Vincent getting some time tonight as Montrez does what Montrez does, and that score close. <laughs> yes, sir. So Dylan Brooks and company will have to wait for their shot at Godala next year. Brooks, as uh, Harrell scores and is fouled by Olenek, second on Olenek. I mean, there's a level of elite defensive championship experience that you like right off the bat. I mean, I, I guess there would be some concerns about he's 36, but he's been resting. So good defender, and now a career-high 21 points. Leonard hits Harrell through the lane, and Harrell gets the bounce, giving Leonard his eighth assist. For the Clippers, rather, with a commanding 13-point lead here inside two minutes to go. I haven't realized that the Clippers, nice pass from Hawaii, nice cut by Montrez. Harrell sets the screen for Williams, who got downhill. Ran into traffic again at the rim. Giannis with a big step, and he got jacked. But got the put back to fall for the first quarter. He has shot the ball well early in games. An easy one and one by Harrell. A little bit strong and Harrell leading the break. Put it on the deck and goes 94 feet. Well, the Bucks are in the top five in terms of three-point field goals attempted this year. Harrell with the floater. Managing a knee injury. Harold oh Boy, a little off rhythm shot there, Mark. <laughs> Hours and 50 minutes prior to tip, he's out here going through his pregame paces with the assistant coaches and his shooting drills as Harold gets that floater to go in the paint in the NBA. He's broken his nose so much. I was told that the facial ID recognition on his iPhone doesn't work for him anymore, doesn't recognize him. That's a bad dude, and he gives us a real chance. What you make of the Doc Rivers, Michael Jordan comparison, parallelism between Kawhi and Beverly on the move. 
Shamit passed up the three. Blocked right to Harrell for the room service layup. You think it's in his head a little bit? I don't know, but I mean, that's pretty bad. I like the idea as Hunter Harrell continues. One thing about Pat Beverly, he's going to give everything he has at the defensive end. Harrell off glass. You know what Charles Barkley did in the summer? What's that? Nothing. <laughs> okay. And he was absolutely great. <laughs> Watch for his hero. Maybe as early as sometime next week. What about Paul George and what he brings to this team and coming from the Pacers and what he meant to that franchise? Where he is now in his career. Six block for Lopez in this game as well. Harrell with the floater. Okay, now the first two we made, that one was off block. 13 game win streak. I mean, they're, they're riding high away. DiVincenzo blocked from behind. Bucks hold on the ball. Again, the attacks and foul to go to the line. Fans wanted to travel by Montrez Harrell as he received the ball. He gets two and a foul instead. For just an uncontested dunk, to be honest. Going right, Montrez Harrell. Going right, Jim. Yep. After Beverly contact, he gave it up. And man, did they move the ball well there for Mo Harkin. Yeah, no other player has scored yet in this first quarter. Harold trying to change that. Cannot. Still battling inside and finally gets it to... Leonard finds Harold. Montrez Harrell methodically working his way right to his spot. Yeah, well, I like see Town says, well, he hooked me. Well, that's what all Piddleton guys do. Clippers led by as many as 12, but a nice run at the end of the first by Minnesota. Wiggins with nice. 12, Towns with 11 as Harrell pushes it down in track. But more important, once he gets in the paint, you try to cover, he'll find the free man. Harrell was waiting for a whistle that didn't come. You know, they got a good look. I, I like the fact that he gave the ball up because he realized he didn't have a shot. Harold pounds it down on the delivery from George, and now Minnesota will take a timeout. What looked like it was going to be a laugher is now a nail-biter. This crowd on its feet as George misfires, but the tipping oh, goes. Now there is a lucky, lucky second shot. He was one for six before that shot. He now has 32 points. Harrell says, all right, I'll do it myself. Why not? Here's Kawhi in fifth gear. Trez against Towns. Hasn't been challenged defensively, but Trez takes it right to the rim and lays it in. Just the second game this year at full strength. Turnover. Broadcasters jinx in place this time. It works in our favor. Trez in between two defenders and lays it in. I mean, the fact that that Ryan Saunders wanted to review a call, a three-point shot by Carl Anthony Towns, which would impact the game as Montrez Hill. Lob to Trez, drenched with defenders. Who cares? He lays it in anyway. In the near future, he has the last ten for the Clippers, who lead by seven. Napier to the rim. Oh, blocked. Not this time, says Montrez Harrell. Minnesota tried to inbound it quickly, and that's what you get. <laughs> and Montrez Harrell, uh, I think the ankle is okay. Now Towns late in the clock goes back to Napier. Deflected, recovered. Here comes Trez with Wiggins to beat. Giant steps down the lane and down the hatch it goes. Shamit in transition. Gives to Trez. Gets to the rim off the window. Of Trez. Defenders cannot touch him and Montrez lays it in. And shoot. Towns for three. Rebound by Beverly. Finds Trez behind the defense to the house. Oh, that rim will never be the same. Lou Williams to Montrez. Oh, poetry in the pick and roll. Williams to Trez, and he slams it in. When your nickname is Bloodsport, that's pretty good. You don't want to it's mention intriguing. him. Oh, Montrez Harrell, the uh oh guy. <laughs> Mr. Uh oh. Williams for Harrell. And he's able to get it to roll over Nas Reed. Nas Reed. Culver, 
Able to get into the paint, and Harrell with the block. Montrez Harrell takes the contact and one. Ari Spellman is, is, is a tough customer, too. You know, he's a kid that has that national championship pedigree as Montrez Harrell rolls right to the rim. Lou Williams, they have that great chemistry. Got to win at home first. They're only one and four right. on their home floor. And they're taking on a Clipper squad that lost three of four away from home. As there's a little jump hook, Montrez Harrell set it up out of the timeout. Pels come in, fifth highest scoring team in the NBA at 117 a game. That's not the issue, it's defensively. Give up the most points in the NBA. A little runner, Montrez Harrell. Magruder put J.J. Redick down to free himself up. He goes back to Harrell. He's going to get a layup out of it. And one. They're going to call a touch foul. Now, Etwan Moore tangled up with Lou Williams on the baseline. Stays with it, but it's pinned. And he got fouled. He's going to the line to shoot, too. Good look. Heartless with Lou Williams. And nobody picked up Harold. Let's review it. Pels have it. <laughs> Six point game, though. Good nice pass. setup. And what a block, block. by Harold. Montrez Harold as Drew Holiday jumped the route on their attempts. Lou Williams coming up short. And Derek Favors gave it away. Montrez Harold will make him pay. I, I can't stress. Man on the run with Harold. And off the glass. Boy, he's That's added to his game. That's a tough a guy off the bench that averages 18 and 7. For a 19-year-old. On the upside. Way ahead. The roll, Harold, too easy. So now in the first half, you realize when Drew Holiday was on the weak side, he was rotating early. Now Robinson. He wanted the shot. Instead, power play. Why not? He had a mismatch. Made a nice dip off to Jalil Do you, Do you pass that along to other Blue Devils? Oh my goodness, a lob up high to Montrez. What a pass by Jerome Robinson. Montrez taking any and all challenges to task. Counted and a foul. We saw Blake take time and time again. He and Bob Tate blocked by Montrez. Here comes Kawhi. Beverly left alone. That like provokes it. a three. Like Got it. it. Patrick Beverly, two, two threes from him. Open looks as well. Beverly hasn't missed his shot. He has eight points, three for three overall. Montrez, oh, look out below. The spring loaded forward powers it in for two. Clippers franchise high and a half is 14. They did that last March here against the Knicks. Clippers get the rebound. Here comes Montrez down the lane and down the hatch it goes. The Clippers able to repair the possession here. Leonard into Trez behind the defense to the rim with the right hand and leaves it in. I knew that Patrick Beverly would get that rebound. What a pass! Oh, look out below! Mom Trez shots it into two. To try to get an open look. Clippers lead cut to ten. Trez juggles, surveys the defense, drives it on Okafor, bounces off him and leaves it in anyway. And getting those loose balls, extra possession, extra rebounds. Fourth team. Oh, 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 rebuked at the rim. And Montrez is on the prowl in transition. Clippers get an extended possession. Montrez down the lane. Look out to the rim. Counted and a foul. Oh, oh, and a little shimmy as he goes into the stands. Magruder back to Trez. Juggles, recovers. And the feathery floater is good for Montrez. He has 22. Lou. He'll try to drive on more. Wrap around pass to Montrez. A crowd in the clouds, but Montrez shoves it in anyway. After seven minutes and 22 seconds from their fifth consecutive win. Trez gets his shot blocked, gets it back, lays it in, counted on a foul. And they did a really good job this past time. Now, if you're Jackson, you want to space him because he wants to bring the ball to you. On the reverse, Montrez Harrell. Montrez, I thought, was done for the night, but he's back out there. He's on the prowl, accelerating, undaunted by the defense, <laughs> lays it up and in. 34 ties a season high. Vincent videotaped him, told him to bring the ball up the middle of his body, not up the left side like he was as Harrell gets the dunk. Up by a bucket. 
Williams guarded by Frank Jackson, who recently checked. Nice. Good find inside to Harrell for the punt. Uh, he is making a good contribution off the bench. That's why I say Hayes and Walker, two guys that they picked up in the draft, along with Zion. Two big additions. Rookie sophomore game. Let me just Rising say Stars this. Game. In the last 10 games, 13 points a game, 7 rebounds, shooting over 76%. You get the ball into the middle of the painted area. They cut into the lead with Kawhi on the bench. He's back in now. Harrow nice. wheels on Ingram yeah. and one. Montrez you know, with a I, monster move. See, they don't want him to go left. But I'm going left. He got there and feeds his nice. buddy off the bench. Harold. He, he knows that this guy has great hands. They force Leonard to pass it, but he gets it back. Harold on the block. Squares up on oh, Hayes yeah, and took him to school. William, Beverly with the floater, oh. Harold fouled on the tip, and count it! Leonard guarded by Ball with five on the shot clock, hits Harold on the roll, and you see the playmaking yeah. ability of Kawhi Leonard with the assist. I mean, 18 and 18 coming off the bench, that's impressive stuff, it really is. Need to do a better job contesting the shots. And right now, the Knicks are shooting 75% from the field. And three of five from above the arc. Jamie, thank you very much. They gave up 40 points in the first quarter yesterday. He's done that all year. 37%. Once again, the Knicks lead by 14. Trez pretends to shoot the jumper, drives around his airborne defender, and lays it in. Lou Williams stays out there, chased around by Kadeem Allen. Gets to the rim, beats to Trez. Look out below, and he angles on the rim. By Jerome Robinson, Clippers reorganize their attack. Trez against Robinson. Oh, what a ball fake! What a recovery by Robinson! But they will count it on a goaltend. Those years, it's hard to say that. And of course, he's been the longtime analyst for the Knicks. As Montrez continues to do work, counted on a foul. Lucky to get the ball back. Trez finds a seam, drives a lane, a whistle, and a foul. They will count the basket and send him once again to the line. Make it four for 50 big points. Trez bounces into Robinson and then flushes it in the two. Wow. That's from the floor. Lou to Trez to the rim. Oh, kiss and a smile on the Clippers. Have their largest. Trez gets the inbound. Goes up against shot block extraordinaire. Robinson seduces him after a ball fake and lays it in. And well, he's done that more than once here this afternoon. Trez wants to go to work on Portis. Mid-range shot. Oh, it's one of those days for Montrez Harrell. He's 11 of 17 with 29. For scoreless the last three minutes. Lou from the line to the lane. Spoon feeds Montrez a seismic slam for Trez. Score would go a long way here for the Clippers. The fake handoff. Oh, Montrez with a shot. Late in the clock, Lou Williams gets downhill, gets to the cut, blocked from behind by Noel, recovered inside by Montrez Harrell. And that Montrez had a mismatch on him. This time Trez guarded by somebody of his equal height. It doesn't matter. A spin to the baseline, counted on a foul, and send to the line. They took, a, they took a gamble, but just keep in mind, they didn't just gamble on PG-13. Nice two-man game by the 13. They knew they had to do that to get Kawhi Lynn. It's a trade they would do 10 times out of 10. Here is Montrez Harrell oh, 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 bouncing off defenders and leaves it in. Trez all the oh, 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 And slams it in with two. That was good defense right there. He had a mismatch situation. Pat Patterson he did a good job. Montrez loitering above the cup, taps it up and in. The first six minutes of the game, he only has five shots in the last 15 that he's played. Lobs it to Montrez, oh, flying around Staples Center like he's got a jetpack on. Jay, blocked from the hand by Montrez, Paul George on the prowl. Montrez. Greeted all his former teammates. Warby, oh, down, Figueroa, and pumps it in with two.
Take your time right here and just try to get, get the ball to your playmakers like right now. Trans to the rim and finger rolls at home. This finisher in the paint. Speaking of nice finisher, I like Luke to see Luke to Trez. continue to get downhill right there again. The head athletic trainer Jason Powell in his 21st season. Lou to his right, misses. Montrez with a rebound, counted out a foul. Flopping that ball. Clippers by one. Magruder to Montrez. Drives on Adams to the rim by two. A soul sinker by Montrez Hill. Now you talk about knowing your personnel. Everybody knows that shooter wants to go right all the time. To the rim by the right hand. Well, Mike Muscala is in, and so this is where the absence of Gallinari plays a role. Is, that is Montrez Harrell. Good idea. As Williams back in. Gives it up, Harrell, and that is the deadly play that the Clippers will kill you until you stop it with. In the early portion of this game, one out of his first six. Harrell, on the slip pass, will score inside. Montrez Harrell, he led the way for the Clippers. Got to get out and protect that three-point line. Harrell inside, muscles it up, and Montrez Harrell continues to score inside. Uh, up on the scoreboard is a three-point shot. So two different ways of scoring the basketball so far. Harrell and scores. Just connect up that three-point shooting. Plenty of time to go here. Harrell contested, still scores. Ferguson came crashing down hard. Elevated, but couldn't come up with it. Is Paul inside? And that time, Harold will punish the rim. Harold had it knocked free momentarily. Noel takes one bump, takes two, and the score. That's two consecutive misses. Actually, make that three consecutive misses from three for the Thunder. Harold, the deep catch in the restricted area, and that's not where you want him to get comfortable because that's where all of his offensive action comes from. This game is settled in. And there's a mismatch with Montrez on Nader. And he gets the spin. Montrez Harrell. Quick shot from the corner. No, Harrell inside. And, uh, and one for Montrez Harrell. You become very easy to guard. Montrez oh, with a ticket to ride. Counted on a foul. I kind of look at how the teams are playing. Well, what team overall is more impressive as Harold slams it down on the inbounds play. Number three by Karen Cross. He has eight off the bench. Trez missing his time. Gathers the loose ball. Lays it in against Mo Bamba. Counted on a foul. Bamba from 20. Came into the league, the longest wingspan in NBA history. Out of Montrez getting back behind the defense and lays it in for his second bucket. He's a stud. It's just your opinion. <laughs> I'm going to leave it at that. How about this? This is not an opinion. Lou Williams to Montrez Harrell is lethal. Gee, that was just great defense by Jerome Robinson. Trez to the rim, lays it in. Chased by Gordon. Gives back to Montrez and he gently lays it in. Clippers 86, Orlando 65. The crowd gravitates to him. You see all the reporters because he has so much knowledge about the game and how to improve uh, what he's doing in the offseason. He's going to attend that ceremony in San Diego State in Hawaii. I haven't been given the invite yet. Five to shoot for Lou. Oh, oh my, Montrez does it again, counted on a foul. Head to South Beach for a game against the Heat, then against this Orlando team. Here's Shamit from the wing to the lane. Oh my. Rebound put nicely back up and in by Montrez Harrell. Birch is on Harrell. Harrell just overpowers Ken Birch. Uh, it depends on how you want to look at it. I would think that uh, Montrez Harrell probably say bottom 10. He probably doesn't care. <laughs> and those leaders, 10. Ross on Williams. Harrell sneaks it in before Bamba could get there. 
The Clippers have the basketball on the rebound. Williams double team. Jamichael Green into Harold. He stuffs it in. Harold rims out. Harold again. This one's good. There's a drive by Ross, rejected by Harrell. Orlando will keep it with just under one minute to play in the third. Here, one do. Bamba, block. Harrell got it, taken by Magruder. And Kawhi Leonard takes the rebound away from Mo Bamba. No look ahead to Montrez, who punches it in with the right hand. Leonard to Harrell, stuffs it in. Under two to play, Clippers by 11. Shamit spoon feeds Montrez, and that might put the candles on the cake here in Orlando. Montrez Harrell having a career year, just under 19 points per game, seven boards. Harrell rolls to the rim. And that's what he does. He's second in the league in points in the paint. A three and D wing, the numbers aren't big but he plays a role on this squad harold back in oh that spin is lethal leonard on a cross cork Maz nearly took it away what a find harold the flush and he had 13 threes his last couple of ball games got the start tonight he's 0 for three from distance lou dumps it into trez and he takes off at the speed of flight and lays it in would still rather see him just keep attacking the rim and forcing them to foul him. Oh, Harrell thought there would be a body there. He stumbled, but still recovered for the bucket. Nice to see that going from Philadelphia. And they got him to try to guard Lou Williams, who drops it off to Harrell. Shannon. Foul on jumper, Landry Shannon. Harrell mistimed his jump, but still got the rebound, drew the foul, and won. We, we, we would uh, be lucky to play that well, you know, all four periods for sure. Defensively, the thing that we missed the most to me with Ben. Marcus Morris down low. Montrez Harrell just muscles it in. Shot clock winding down. Milton splits the defense, goes inside, left-handed shot block. Harris's tip misses, fight for the rebound. Ball knocked loose, picked up by Lou Williams. Harrell down the lane, running layup, count it, and the foul. Harrell going one-on-one -on -one against Horford, drives, layup, count it, and one. Montrez Harrell a chance for another three-point play. That's great defense. Harold down the other end, throws it down. Timeout Philadelphia, and they're on their feet here at Staples. He was a perfect 11 of 11 from the line last night. The Suns as a team were 31 of 32 as Montrez Harold just doing work. It was kind of a live and learn situation that knew it would be difficult as the Suns turn it over there. Harold on the recovery and gets the finish. to Kawhi every time trying to that guy doesn't miss shots in the paint that's the first game of the year that's the excitement of playing against the Lakers in LA is different what they did to Golden State that looked like the clock oh no, yeah. I don't know about that tip in on the miss by Montrez Harrell the Suns are making them work when when Kawhi Leonard gets emotional on the court like that you know the Suns are really making them think about what they're doing 29%. Booker drops it off the Baines. Looks like Harold was able to get just a piece to force the miss. Leonard draws the double team. Harold inside. He's so good at that. He keeps the ball high. We put him on Shannon, so Devin plays smart. He won't pick up a foul. Williams on the drive. Baines with the block. Harold with a follow and the roll. Let me add my man Jamal Crawford to that statement. I, I know Jamal listens to games, but I don't want him mad at me. Harrell continues to stack onto his season high. Ten. The Suns have lost 12 straight to this Clippers team.
21 of the last 23 as Harold adds to his big scoring night. Like, it's amazing to watch that from Lou Williams. He's not just a scorer, he can facilitate for his team. Montrez is a scorer, oh, soaring over California, down the lane in town, the hatchet goes. Lou to Trez, up and under, gets a great look at the iron and leaves it in. He's a sneaker free agent. Right. Leonard bounces to Trez, look out below, flushing it in with two. Continues to be sidelined with the cold. You're trying to fight your way through it now the last few days. Clippers come back from down 28 as Lou Williams drives it on the right baseline. And gives to Trez, double clutcher, whistle, and a foul. Send that young man to the line for the old-fashioned three-point play. Saying they will make the playoffs, but no, this no, no, is no, no. You longer. Said that they will make the playoffs. Don't didn't. come on now, don't change it. Trez change it to the rim, lays it in. I'm saying they've got a great opportunity. I think they're better than the, than the Phoenix Suns. They are as currently constructed for sure. Trez, oh, 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 oh my, dangling on the rim. Being the guy that is on paper more easy to move. How about Montrez? Oh, everything is good for him. He lays it up and in. Earl can push him around, push him off his spot. But once he gets it, no. Earl coming right back against the Clippers. But the issue with those uh, those two teams in Milwaukee and the Lakers, they don't have the bench like the Clippers. The Clippers have a phenomenal bench, and you just saw one of the stars in Montrez Harrell get a score. Not up that mark by much this year. George DeHarrell rolls to the bucket. Easy slam. That is so easy. Suns picking up from full court. Aiton playing the passing lane. Just Eight. missed the steal. Yeah, he's half a, half a step late. A little flip shot he just missed has been going down for him lately. Not surprised he took that. Oh, oh came up short. He's played yes. extremely well for the Warriors. Harold squaring up right to the rim going at Lemissier. Three on the shot clock. Lemissier to the rim and he is rejected by Harold shaking his head. Do not come this way. He was trying to go to work in the post down there dribbling for all that time. Baseball is feeling at this time the shot blocked by Harold. Wow. Way to get back in the play, Montrez Harold. That's his third rejection. Leonard, nice pass, and Harold puts it down. First play he had two plays ago off the pick and roll, wide open jump shot. He got his touch. Harold, nice spin. Fourth quarter, Marv Albert, Chris Weber, Kristen Ludlow, Harold on the drive. Able to go to the reverse. What patience that time. Rebounding, no transition. No threes, got to keep it up, all right? Nice move by Montrez Harrell, 11. Leonard, oh, yeah. the follow by Harrell. I, I don't see how Harrell did that. Leonard, right by Hazonia. Nice pass for Harrell, pops it home. Again, Harold ah! it will count. And the way that he would ISO, take space, space the floor, kind of post you up, get you in spots where you couldn't guard. He had a heck of a pump fake. Ah! Beautiful pass right there and dunk by. Rebounded by Harold. That's where you have to be careful. Harold can take it all the way. And he does. It counts. at the foul. Against a Washington Wizard team that, let's say, is not known for its defense. I was going to say, please tell him who it was against. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Diamonds, you're used to him shooting that ball out deep, not taking it in, shooting over a tough defender. Great job that time. As Harold spinning in and goes right at Lavisier. Three on the shot clock. Here's George spinning inside. Oh. And it's tipped home. And Anthony Tolliver coming on for the first time, replacing Carmelo Anthony. Nice pass to Harold with the slam. You want to know why the pick and roll is so effective? Coming up on a minute remaining in the third. Here's Harold. And the foul. Sweeping to the rim. At the foul line. Shot clock is out of five seconds. 
differential as it's tipped home. Cut like he normally does. There's Williams. Shot blocked. Aaron is right there. Williams ducking around a screen, gives it to Harold, and he scores. Come on, man. Little flip shot. Nice drop off to Harold, and he's on the scoreboard, 30 to 25. Leonard has 14 here in the quarter. Here's a three in the corner, and it's in and out. Tipped in, though, by Mr. Hyre. Always the toughest for the officiating crew. Lou is dishing to Harkless in traffic. No. Montrez lays it up and in. Counted on a foul. The beginning of that game, when they dribbled the ball over the half court, I said, Brian, no one's moving. I, I, I didn't get it at that time, what they were doing. And then after four or five seconds, then it finally sunk in. And Lou Williams and Montrez. Speak of the devil, he shall appear. Oh, my. Montrez staples it in. He's having quite the first quarter. 12 of 25. They've held Sacramento 8 for 21. Montrez ruffles across the lane. Oh, power and finesse from Montrez Harold. Moves very well without the ball. One of the league leaders in miles run, distance run during the course of a 48-minute game. Trez swivels his way. Oh, my. Three defenders. Joseph juggles. Here comes Beverly. Montrez running. Shotgun, and he gets it to him, and he flushes it in with two. Darts down the lane, bouncing into defenders. Gives back to Trez. Shamit to Trez. Oh, to the cup. And Montrez Harrell now with 16. Take away those catch, face, look, and take threes. Oh, what footwork by Montrez Harrell, and he continues to deliver 18 off the bench. You just see a discombobulated attack here. Here's Bazemore. Blocked at the peak of his leap, but the long carom is shot taken by Joseph. And Sacramento looks to close with crescendo. Bazemore down the lane to the rim. Blocked again from behind by Montrez. <laughs> see if they can change momentum that way, or perhaps some type of press just to make them throw the ball around a little bit. When you look up and you see what they're shooting, from the three-point line. Could he not have been on that squad? A sentimental choice and no, not just, not no, just a sentimental. On, no, not just sentiment. I meant, let me rephrase that. May, okay. I, may I get a yeah. may I get a do-over? It can unlock the beast for him to play harder. That means not just offensively, but defensively. Lou misses, Montrez taps it in with six tenths of a second to play in the quarter. Well, you know that 12-30 game, that means that it will be an early shoot around. And shoot around start early as Trez gets down the floor. Sacramento had four threes in quarters one and two. They have five here in the third. A no look inside from Leonard to Montrez, and he lays it in Clippers down 81 69. Because I wanted to because give our team. Running people over. No, I wasn't running people over. The, the purpose of that was to, to get the team in the corner. And he got them in the penalty. That helped our team out. Monster you rebound and put back by Trez. Clippers are down by five. Sacramento moving up the corner with the score. Of course. Oh, oh, blocked by you know. Montrez. Walled off by Heald. Montrez looks for help. Puts it up off oh. the window. And Clippers by one. That play with Mono Ginobili, Tony Parker. And if you look over on the bench, Mr. Tim Duncan is up. Oh, 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 what a two-man game. Poetry in the pick and roll. The system that they have in place, the culture they've created in San Antonio, quite remarkable. Clippers, I feel like, are on their way of doing that same thing as Montrez goes up and under, sideways and down, and lays it in. Williams goes up on Lonnie Walker. Wraparound pass to Montrez. Oh, a double clutcher senses the defense and lays it in. Clippers regain the lead. I'm blaming on Steven Rosen. He just sent me this. Uh, I'll, I'll tell you what. Five out of four people struggle with math. I'm, it's I mean, okay. Come on, Steven. Montrez Harrell floats it up and floats it in with the right hand. And the Clippers regain a three-point lead here in this first half. <laughs> when, you, when you have an unselfish player in Kawhi Leonard, two defenders would always try to stop him. And he finds Trez with ease.
Great feed inside, and Derek White lays it in. Looking to break the tie at 43. Right now, we want to see more patience. <laughs> Montrez accelerates, elevates, lays it in, counted on a foul. Bench again got the start last night in Salt Lake City. These are the games when you have two of your strands. Just a great pick and roll play. Lou chased by White finds Montrez colliding oh, wow. inside with Aldridge and lays it in. Montrez hurls seven of nine from the field here tonight. Lou to the cup with two, had cool intentions. Oh, he misses, but Montrez Harold to tap it up and in, counted on a foul. And just rises up right at that, that elbow and finishes. Forbes blocked by Trez. And then Lou tries to fling it over his shoulder, but a whistle and a foul. 90 seconds to play. Beverly left alone, oh. finds Trez inside to the rim with two, <laughs> counted on a foul. Training camp for the Clippers in 2013. Montrez Harrell down the lane, runs into a couple of defenders, lays it in, no whistle. Clippers have a chance to go two for one here. Montrez is aware of the clock. Swiveling to the baseline, off the window. What a scoop shot by Montrez. Clippers just one of eight from the field in this second quarter. San Antonio five for seven. Trez, oh, down the hatch it goes. And Montrez Harrell brings the Clippers to within four. George. To Trez. Back to back buckets from Montrez. Harrell and the Clippers cut the lead down to. That's by design. Once he made the bucket against White, they came right back to him, put it in his hands again. Kawhi finds Montrez. Look out below, and he dangles on the rim. For as well as San Antonio has played, they only lead by two as Patty Mills unable to convert. How about a block by Montrez? Here comes Kawhi. Mid range in route. By 11. Oh, you love to see that strong drive there from DeJounte Murray through his shoulder right into the defense, created enough space to get that shot off. Harrell with a follow up dunk. Get your attitude right. <laughs> <laughs> I need an adjustment. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that time. Harrell weaving with Pirtle. And he's altered a whole lot more. And his blocks are significant. And he's not throwing the ball out of bounds. He's blocking the shot off the glass, and guys are getting the ball going the opposite direction. Here's an and one for the Clippers. Here's Williams giving it up. Harold. Lays it in the other way as Murray catches him coming down the paint. Watch out. Here's Harold for the dunk the other way. Winning at Milwaukee and at Philadelphia. Philadelphia was out of sorts in that one. Inside as Montrez Harrell. Derek White to continue cutting to the basket. Pirtle comes out of the ball game inside as Kenozi meant to. Waiting for that ball. Lou Williams. Harrell. Uh, well, Lonnie tried. Harrell. Follows up against Medjur. Oh, that's technical. Lou. Two man game with Montrez. Oh, poetry in the pick and roll, and Montrez lays it in for the first time tonight. They've trailed by as many as 15 here in this opening half. Montrez down the lane and down the hatch with two hands. Montrez and Kawhi Leonard on the floor. It is one of the best duos in the NBA when you look at offense and defensive rating. And Exhibit A right there with Montrez. Harold Clippers now down nine. Trez spins into a double team off the window and then, oh, it cyclones through the cylinder. Lou passes into Montrez, swivels inside. And Pirtle gives him a piggyback after he jams it in with two. 82's on the board. Jamichael Green. To Shemek. To Montrez. Look out below. Nice little shuffle pass with the left hand by Shemek. Clippers tied up at 93. DeRozan. And Paul George finds an open Trez behind the defense. Oh, we have liftoff. And the Clippers lead by two. 
spins away from the double team. Trez with a rebound and the putback. Kawhi across half court on a mission in transition. Spoon feeds Trez at the cup. Oh, a seismic slam inside. That Jordan guy was pretty good. Uh, a little bit. Trez in traffic, no go. Continues his relentless pursuit of destruction and lays it in. So Raptors without McCall, Kyle Lowry. Jefferson gets it back, stays with it. And also without Serge Ibaka here tonight. Nice pass inside to Trez, bouncing off defenders, counted in a foul. And how about the pass right there by Mohawk? Obviously, 21 years he was here with me when I had some tough injuries at that time. He's very, very good at what he does. He's in good hands. Montrez Harrell rattles it home and puts the Clippers out in front by one. With this lineup, they're just showing Lou Will a lot of respect. And everybody else, they're zoning up. Blocked by Montrez Warfare at the rim. Hollis Jefferson dominating. No, Siakam can't tip it in. Look out below up in two hands. And Montrez dangles above the carnage inside. Lead by six, shooting only 36% from the floor. Van Vliet shouted by Trez. Gets around him, gets to the rim. Maybe blocked by Trez, recovered by Green. Gasol gives it to Boucher. Up fake, drives. Gets denied. Harold. A beautiful pass from Kawhi Leonard. Nice hit ahead to Montrez Harrell and another great hustle play by him. Clippers lead down to three. Oh, Harkless, the leading scorer with 10 in the ballgame for the Clippers. Harrell inside of a great dime from Lou Williams. Out to Patterson. Williams inside. Great find to Harrell. Thread the needle on that pass. From three, from mid-range, and so you go into that zone, and the zone isn't to stop you from scoring, it's just to make it a little bit more difficult. Ah, oh, got blocked. All right, think about it. Last year, you had Lou Williams and Montrez Harrell in the final three for six man of the year. Harrell from Williams and the slam. Magruder working on Bogdanovich. The shot clock down to four. Backdoor cut by Williams. Extra pass to Harrell, and he puts it in. Can't get that one to go. Clippers have missed all six of their efforts from distance. Magruder, corner three, short rebound, tapped around, goes to Trez. Look out, lays it in with two. Knee of his he seems to be just fine as you see him set the screen for Kawhi. Yep, I would say that leg feels just fine. And Montrez able to pump it in. He said we're not playing aggressive, we're passive. He said we've got to play downhill, telling his guys that this is a fight and they're fighting harder. Out in front by seven. What a find by Lou Williams. He sees windows where others see walls. The wraparound pass to Montrez Harrell. Jamichael Green with the opportunity to give it to him. No, Montrez. Oh, what a foul by Montrez. And we are tied in downtown L.A. Lose to Trez. Up with the right hand. Back-to-back -back buckets for Montrez Harrell. And the offense on both sides has come to life. Donovan Mitchell really blazing. Lou to the rim. No rebound. Tapped up and in by Montrez Harrell. They had Trez for Prez t-shirts during the game. Who is his running mate? I'm interested. Gobert gets the rebound and then stuffs it in. Put mechanics to score the basketball at will. Here's Montrez all alone with the defense focusing on Lou Williams. Montrez says thank you very much. To hit shots even from inside the paint or by the three-point line. Lou takes a long two trying to go two for oh. one. The ball tapped up and in from Montrez Harold. Your Ross, your name is still being on, on speed down to play in the NBA. Trez down the lane. No follows his face with a right-handed tap in and the Clippers lead by nine. It hurt my forearm oh. when I got up that high. Okay. Just check. Clippers by 13. Trez to the rim. And blessed with finesse. Lays at home. He'd definitely be a lethal player in this league. Lou to Trez to the rim. Oh, I love saying that. And Montrez Harrell puts the Clippers out in front by 13.
82 points in the first half. Are they going to get it on this trip, or are they? Montrez ties it, and the Clippers now lead 82 to 55. Thomas finds the seam. Not this time, says Montrez, and now here come the Clippers. A chance to go two for one. Trez, singly covered by Bryant, blows by him to the rim, counted and a foul, oh, and Montrez does it again. Brown Jr. glides into the rim, doesn't get it. Here comes Robinson, ahead to Montrez, plays a little game of hopscotch, down the lane and down the hatch. What footwork by Montrez. Dude, they, there are a lot of people still here. Should you know that. do the win? I'll leave that one up to you. I'm going to focus on Montrez laying in points 22 and 23. Misses. The 12-point lead ties the largest lead of the game here for the Clippers. And that should have been Carey against Harrell. Mm. Harrell against Mahimi. And that's going to be an and one. Mahimi fall to the ground, tried to strip. Here's Harrell. Too easy there, even with Bertans coming over trying to help out at the end. That brought it to within four. Making everybody in Memphis proud. Harrell at Jan and Montrez Harrell able to stop the bleeding momentarily. Pull up. Shot by Troy Brown Jr. Harrell against Mahimi and Montrez Harrell now in double figures with 11. Leonard the kick out, Robinson for three. Harrell gets the offensive rebound. He got fouled. He puts it in. And he'll go to the free throw line trying to convert that three-point play. Team to 109. Two possession lead for the Clippers. Smith gets down the lane. Rebuke by Montrez Harrell. Gets it to Harrell. Shot clock to six. Crosses over Mahinmi for the two-handed dunk and the foul. That was impressive. Harold now against Troy Brown Jr. Spin move, little up and under. And a timeout taken now by Scott Brooks.